guys, Mr. C, Silver Fox. Here today we are going to talk about using routines and scripts and tricks and indirect approaches. In a nutshell, you don't want to use this shit guys. It's really, really, really toxic to your own growth. Uh, you may get laid by it, you probably will. You know, Mystery Method does work on a certain percentage of women, especially if they've had some alcohol. But it's a pathetic way to live and it's really, it communicates to women that you have a very low, low value in the social dominance hierarchy. You may be able to trick her for a night, a couple nights, and after that she'll see through your paper thin veneer, because uh, women have a great way of poking through it with their shit tests, and she'll see that you're just a bloke and then she'll blow you off and you'll be on to the next chick. It's a really pathetic approach to interact with women. A better approach, learn, invest the time, learn how to be authentic and direct and bold and courageous with women. Women fucking love it. When you walk up to a woman, you don't walk up to her and say, hey, where's the nearest Starbucks or what time it is or uh, some indirect way of getting her to talk and then try and pivot into, hey, where's Starbucks? Oh yeah, okay, okay. hey, by the way, I think you're really cute, let's go on a date. It just doesn't fucking work like that. And the reason why is because she's already put you in a box. She's put you in a box as a guy that has no balls. So then when you try and pivot into trying to appear like you're masculine and come across as being bold and confident, she already knows she can see through your shit. It's much better if you just approach directly like we do and the same with the scripts and the routines and the tricks and whatever. I'm trying to get her back to your place. This just came up on the thread. We were talking about it a couple guys. You don't need tricks to get her back to your place. If you've built a really good connection with her and you've built fire with her, she wants to go back to your place. You know, it's the guy's job to create a very strong, safe, non-judgmental place for her to experience her own sexuality with you in. If you can do that, she'll trust you and you can literally in the middle of the date just take her hand walk to your place or take her hand walk to a taxi get in the taxi go to your place she'll say where are we going oh i want to take you somewhere private that we can kiss or that we can talk or whatever you know you don't have to lie to her you don't have to like trick her into your place the whole anti-slut defense that exists on two levels one if she's with her friends or she's in a public space like maybe her employer is looking over her shoulder or something yeah, okay, you've got to be mindful of that because she's going to, if she just comes away with you and she's been with her friends at a club, you're going to trigger that in her. But if you've gone on a date with her, even an instant date, even if it's only been half an hour, you can build a very strong, safe place where she'll trust you and she'll feel safe and confident and she won't feel like a slut because she'll feel like you guys are connecting. And if you're connecting, Having sex together is just another way to connect. It's just another communication, uh, another form of communication. You know, we have languages, we have kissing, we have touching, we have dancing, we have communicating with our eyes, and we have sex. You know, we've got other ones too, but the point is, that's all that sex is. I mean, it's something, it's something, I think it's something special, it's something incredible that you should only have with exceptional, incredible women that you meet, but, you know, it's not, it's not like you need to trick women into this. It's so funny when I see that on the thread of with, with students. I'm like, dude, you gotta cut that shit out. Don't try and trick her back into your place because you need to go change your shoes or um, why don't you come look at the view or I wanna show you something on YouTube and then you get there and then you pounce on her like a fucking tiger. <laughs> like, it's really comical and for her, it's confusing and it, and it destroys her trust in you because it's like, okay, I thought you said that we were coming here for X. But now you're trying to do why, and she's just confused. Why didn't you tell me that up front? Now, I wouldn't tell a woman up front because it's being uh, uncharming to go to become explicit unless you're already in that way in the conversation. But you want to use subtext and innuendos and just basically say, I want to be somewhere private with you, and then just walk. And usually, when I'm with a girl after and, and I talk to her, she'll say, When we were going to your hotel, I was really nervous, but I trusted you. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I trusted you. And if you can generate that kind of trust, and then of course come through on it, don't be a dink and don't try and force women to do shit and whatever that they don't wanna do. Instead, interact with her, connect with her really, really, really well. If you're connecting really well, sex is totally natural. She'll wanna, she'll wanna be sexual with you because you're triggering 
the, the desire in her to connect with you on multiple different levels. The problem is most guys go on a date, they play a nice guy, they hide their intentions, and they're not creating any fire or connection, they're just spending time sitting there talking about useless bullshit instead of actually connecting with her. If you connect, then naturally that's going to pivot into her wanting to be sexual with you. Uh, there's the very odd time that there's something that'll kind of block it. Like for example, she's super, super, super religious and you know has pledged herself no sex before marriage or something. I was with a girl recently and uh, we got back to the hotel and we were messing around and everything and she said, I have to tell you, you know, I made a promise to my dad before he died that I wouldn't have sex before marriage. And it was obvious that she was like super, super, super emotional about it. Okay, stuff like that happens. But uh, if you can build a super safe place with her where she trusts you and you guys are really enjoying a good connection together, escalating into the sexual part is really no big deal at all. It's effortless. The problem is most guys try and focus on how to escalate her into the sexual part using alcohol or tricks or routines or whatever and they don't focus on how to actually build a connection with her. Then what you're doing is you're actually trying to get her to feel sexual with you when she has no connection to you. So it's very unnatural. And of course you have to like then drug her, get her drunk or do some stupid thing. But if you just connect with her, human sexuality is natural now. So there you go, another thought. Take care guys.